Welcome back to Command and Conquer Tiberian Dawn for the 6th GDI mission. This time we are going into the Czech Republic. Uh, I believe the point of conflict is going to be Ostrava. Now the two different paths we had have both converged now. Uh, though it gives us two different directions we can approach from. So for example, on the right here, coming from Ukraine or come from Germany. Uh, they are both exactly the same mission and think since I think Ostrava is around about uh, here, Eastern uh, Czech Republic, then um, that's the arrow I'm going to go for. So yeah, uh, same kind of things as we're used to, 120 billion, National Guard, military power, point of conflict, Ostrava. Let's get the mission underway. Commander, Carter here. It's absolutely essential that you get this infantry commando across the Making sure to avoid all Just enough time to plan get the hell back out. Don't bother with anything. Welcome to arrived. GDI Mission 6 then, and we have our introduction to a fan favourite, the Commando. Yeah. Now this is the I'm ultimate anti-infantry unit in this game, can you kill got... any infantry in one single shot. No it's also deadly to buildings, he carries a C4 so he can destroy any building in one explosive. You see around this corner here there's a Sam's light, if I hover my cursor over it, it switches to a C4 logo. Now you do need to be very careful when you're doing that because often you'll find that infantry will come out of the destroyed building and that's they'll be at very short range so that's when you're most vulnerable. Now we have a beacon here just on the other side of the river. You'll see when I destroy the second SAM site we'll get a Chinook coming in to give us a lift across. It doesn't look really deep but apparently we can't swim it. Watch out for the infantry here again. Oh, come on. Oh, wow, that was close. Two guys came out of that one there. That's a worst case scenario. And yeah, one of them managed no to get a shot off on my commando. So he's not very strong. Yeah, he's not much stronger than the ordinary rifleman. However, we are uh, very, well, more powerfully armed. Our main threat is going to be vehicles. Now let's check our briefing. Use the GDI commando to infiltrate the Nod base. Destroy that so that the base is incapacitated. Get in, hit it, and get that out. Now. This mission is unique in terms of Command & Conquer missions in so much as it doesn't actually tell you what the objective is. Uh, you can destroy any building in their base and successfully complete the uh, mission. Now, I'll quickly demonstrate, you can't highlight air units when they are in travel. So what to do is to make them a group and that way you can issue orders to them when they are in flight. So you see I can now select it by just selecting that group. That allows you to kind of quickly change your mind if yeah, you've uh, no run across more missiles than you'd be expecting. No I'm going to send my commander around the left path here. No problem. No problem. You can see some infantry there. No problem. There's some no more infantry problem. coming up. You got it. Deal no with problem. them. You got it. There's another rocket guy up here. You got you got it. You got it. And another SAM site round here. No Hopefully we will not get two more infantry from this one. Yes sir. Which is exactly what we got, and we almost died as well, so we are off to a tremendous start in this mission. Let's fly our Chinook around the edge here. I'm gonna park him up here. Make him into a group of his own. And I'm gonna send him up into this corner. Now, there is a patrolling buggy around here that we really don't want to run into. There he is. There's also a patrolling squad of infantry. Now, Buggies are our main threat in this mission because we have no way of dealing with them whatsoever. Our sniper rifle does yeah. no damage to vehicles. <laughs> Once that patrolling squad of infantry is gone, I'm going to board the helicopter, climb to the bottom of the cliff here, then quickly disembark. And we'll deal with him and then push north. Fly him into that corner a bit more, just away from the buggy. Hopefully, the buggy won't see us now. Now, I'm going to run along the top of the map. Here comes that buggy. If he goes left, I'm in trouble here. Okay, good. I thought it was going to go to there, but we're fine. Now, I am very concerned about our health. Just a single shot from any infantry is going to kill us now. So that is a worst-case scenario for us, really. 
and you'll see I can see the corner of the base and there's a, a SAM site here. That's going to prevent us from getting anywhere close with the Chinook. We can't actually get to that SAM site because it's so well guarded in their base. Now that that buggy's going this way, I'm going to take the opportunity to rush in. I'm also going to move my helicopter up to here, close as I dare and put it to that SAM site. You might even see him pop up there. I really don't want him to though. Oh, come on though. <laughs> the commando pushed him closer than I wanted to. There's a single patrolling infantryman here. When he uh, spots us, or when we shoot at him, uh, that is when uh, all the base is going to be alerted. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to see if I can sneak past him. I don't know if it's possible. Let's go for it. See what happens. Oh, that guy's seen us. But that's fine. As long as we keep going. This may be a suicide mission, but as long as we get to the objective at the end here. So yes, the objective is the airfield. Let's shoot at this guy, see what happens. Oh, okay, <laughs> that is kicked up. Yeah, everyone, here comes those flamethrowers. Uh, we saw them in the previous mission. This is the first time we're actually going to see them. This is going to kill our uh, commander here, but it's the objective. We got it, even though we lost the commander. Yeah, I think it might be possible to sneak around that guy. If, if we hadn't um, taken those hits at the start from those guys coming from the SAM sites, the commander would have survived and we would have got a perfect mission. However, that's mission six. Uh, as explained before, yeah, you can destroy the wrong building. Uh, and if you do, you will need to do mission seven. Otherwise you bypass it and go straight to mission uh, eight. Uh, I'm gonna show both eventualities. So this was the correct mission and it just ends. Uh, if you destroy the wrong one, I will be doing Mission 7 tomorrow. Like I mentioned previously at the end of Nod Mission 5, I'm going to be doing two GDI missions in a row now just to get them ahead a bit in the story. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you again tomorrow for GDI Mission 7.